Greetings, Cancer, and Cancer Rising. This is your Western forecast for August 2024. Very important month of a lot of reevaluating, readjusting, could be testing of relationships, testing of your job, because Mercury will be retrograde August the 4th to the 28th. Expansive Jupiter every three years will be constricted by Saturn, limiting Saturn. That's peaking on August the 19th. Um, but there's some positive things here with the new moon is in your second house of income. So your, a lot of your attention is going to be on increase in your income and finances. And it's very positively supported by Jupiter, prosperous, optimistic Jupiter. And that new moon from August the 4th is holding your attention to the beginning of September. But it's not time yet to um, really act on important new financial business directions. It's best to do a lot of reevaluating, researching, adjusting. But before I break all that down and how it applies to cancer, if you enjoy these kinds of videos and would like to see more of them, click like and subscribe. And don't forget to click on the notification bell so you can receive the latest postings. And if you go into the description box underneath the video, you'll find direct links to book an astrology reading or check out my two question offer. All right, Cancer, I always like to start with where's the sun shining? The sun is in Leo from the end of July through August the 21st, the first three weeks of every July. The sun is where we light up, what's important, where, what's I priority. But then I look to the new moon because the new moon will be in Leo on August the 4th. So you've been building since the end of July what's important, what you're interested in with Leo. Leo is the second sign past cancer. The second deals with income and your finances. But by the 4th is now your intentions are really focused on, your, uh, on how to make more money or how to secure or invest your monies. And that new moon is going to be favorably supported by prosperous, expansive Jupiter. So some very important seeds of new directions, new opportunities uh, for making money. But when the new moon begins August the 4th, Mercury, discerning decision-making Mercury, goes retrograde also exactly on August the 4th and remains retrograde until the 28th. So the new moon in the second house of income, excellent with Jupiter, is going to bring a lot of optimism and possibilities and opportunities, but the Mercury in retrograde is still a time to reevaluate and let's get back to the Jupiter Saturn because Jupiter has so much to do with prosperity and expansion and Jupiter is every three years approximately is squares or forms a 90 degree angle to the transiting Saturn. Saturn is restrictions, Jupiter is expansion. Saturn are structures, um, Jupiter is all this growth. But when Jupiter is in this square to Saturn every three years, you'll see job changes, relocation changes, financial restlessness, and that um, and and that's and that's peaking. The Jupiter Saturn square is peaking on August the nineteenth. What's fascinating is for everybody is we're having a full moon in Aquarius on August the nineteenth. So around the nineteenth, 
the crap is hitting the, <laughs> the fan, you might say. Um, because that full moon brings everything to light, reveals everything that's been hidden. But this full moon is a square or hard angle to rebellious Uranus. So there's going to be these unexpected upsets. The full moon for Cancer is falling in your eighth house. The eighth house deals with your financial obligations with others, financial contracts, your partner's monies. So there could be some real unexpected surprises with, uh, with finances, with your financial obligations with others. That could be inheritance. That could be taxes. That could be insurance. That could be loans. Uh, but there's these unexpected upsets. At the same time, Jupiter and Saturn are squaring each other, and there might be this having, um, having to reevaluate your career. Um, now, because the good news, because there's a lot of this reevaluating which makes people nervous, and Mercury in retrograde is when people will build mountains out of molehills. Um, but the new moon in the second house of income, excellently supported by prosperous, lucky Jupiter, you're going to, um, this is, it's not time to start a major new job or to launch a whole new business, um, but it's really favorable for doing a lot of reevaluating and readjusting. Especially if with the Jupiter Saturn, the worst case scenario, you could lose your job. But then because of the new moon, that would be, end up being a blessing in disguise because you get more into the first part of September is when you could find a better paying job. Now, this Mercury, decision making, planning Mercury, is going to retrograde in Virgo start on August the 4th. And Virgo is three signs past Cancer. So what you're reevaluating, third house, learning, classes, selling, sometimes travel plans. But Venus, that planet of desire, what you appreciate, what you enjoy, Venus, planet of love and creativity. Venus will be in Virgo in your third sector, August the 4th, right when of the new moon and when Mercury goes retrograde. That August the 4th is some very powerful shifting energies. But Venus brings protection and it's there till August the 29th. So that Venus in the third could be a love, Venus, of learning. Or you could be very popular um, popularly received if you're trying to sell products or sell yourself in a job interview, especially if, you, if you've got to, you know, seek more monies um, with that new moon in the second house of income. Now, to pull it back, and I said this in the last reading, last month's reading, so expansive lucky Jupiter went into Gemini at the end of May 2024 till May of 2025. Jupiter in Gemini is in the 12th house sector from Cancer. Or it's in the sign prior to Cancer, it's in the behind the scenes shadow area of Cancer. But Jupiter in that 12th house sector is really favorable for uh, going back to school, getting more higher degrees in education. Um, and Mars is a two-year cycle, and it's going, and it went into Gemini on July the 20th till August the 4th. So the Mars is all that ambitious restlessness, um, initiating new actions, the Mars with the Jupiter brings a lot of this expansiveness, um, but it's in the 12th house. Well, the 12th house could also be that you're making all these big plans, but they're more for the future. Um, 
We especially have to wait for Mars to go into Cancer on August, I mean on September the 4th, going into September. But Saturn is, as I said, is restricting the Gemini, the Mars and the Jupiter and Gemini. But here's good news, or you can choose to direct it in a positive way. Saturn in Pisces, Pisces is a water sign compatible with Cancer, a water sign. It's Pisces is nine signs past Cancer. So from 2023 to the end of 2025, once every 30 years, taskmaster, responsible, disciplined Saturn is transiting the ninth house of higher education, which could also be teaching, marketing, publishing. Um, and that Saturn is you're really taking on all the discipline and the focus with the marketing to the education. Where it's really positive here is that Mars Jupiter is that, um, that tremendous ambitious motivation in the 12th house of behind the scenes being delayed or being, uh, or being channeled or um, focused by Saturn in the night of higher education. So this could be really favorable for uh, getting more professional training for, um, now you could be planning it, but wouldn't, but with Mercury in retrograde, not time to start the classes um, until August, or certainly after Mercury goes direct on the 28th. Um, this, um, that might also be where the new moon in the second house of income all month with expansive optimistic Jupiter is you're really feeling like you need to make more money. I, how do I make more money with a Mercury in retrograde? How do I got to rethink all of this? And then the sun goes into the third when it goes into Virgo, August 21st. Mercury starts, retrograde, starts the retrograde in the third and Venus pleasurable um, Venus is in Virgo in the third third could be learning how to make more money with the new moon in the second house of income but with Jupiter Mars in the 12th this is um, this is a long-term preparation um, like getting uh, go, going back to college or getting your master's degree, getting so much more technical um, expertise to really enhance your career and make more monies. Um, now, Venus is, we always look to, well, where's the love? Where's the romance? Venus in Virgo is um, in the third. Some of the pleasurable energies of Venus is the third can mean relatives and siblings. Um, so if you have, you might be having, you could go on an enjoyable trip because the third house could also be dealing with domestic traveling, weekend traveling, but the third house could deal with siblings. Venus is all that pleasure. Um, you could also, this is, um, so it's very favorable for, for short and weekend travel um, and really enjoying yourself. But the third house is also the house of classes and learning. And the Venus is you're just really loving the whole learning process. Um, so I want to thank you for watching. You've liked information on how to book an astrology reading or to check out my two question offer visit my website at gardino.co that's dot co until next month be safe and well